my name is Ophelia Hutt, I'm the Professor of Theoretical Physics at the University of St. Andrews. So we are trying to illustrate the science behind invisibility and also to show that it comes from things everyone knows already. So we are doing some kitchen style experiments with water and uh, little spheres and uh, bending of light in sugar water solutions and also in jelly uh, to show the principles behind the science of, of invisibility. So we have spheres that are invisible or objects, so we fish them out of the tank and then when they are in air you, you see them, but it, as soon as you drop them into water they, they disappear. There is a tube. And what they represent uh, the principle behind the invisible man, a story from Herbert Wells. So he changes his body. So every cell in his body has the same refractive index as air, and therefore he becomes invisible. And we cannot do this with air, but we can do this with water. So we have things that have the same refractive index as water, and therefore if you drop them into water, they disappear. That's, that's what we show. We also have experiments that show the principle behind the invisible woman. So she has some force field around her, of which she distorts space. And so she can guide light around her. And we use this with fibers. So we have a bundle of fibers where light is guided around uh, the invisible Eeyore. You can have one image on the back side and you see the, the same image on, on the other side, but without seeing Eeyore. So light is guided around him. So you see these numbers? And if you could do this from all directions, then you would make him completely disappear. Still, invisibility is still far away from practical applications. Other things related to it are definitely there. So like the opposite of invisibility, so to make things, small structure, uh, appear instead of disappear. They can be used for microscopy and uh, things like that. So that's, that's something that is definitely possible. We're, we're working on this. So. And we, got, we have little freebies with invisible spheres. And we we are losing them at a frightening rate. <laughs> so I'm not sure how long our supply will last.